First off, for the mere one or two people who don't know who or what Shrek is, let's recap that real quick. Shrek is an animated DreamWorks movie that was made in 2001 and is a twist story of fairy tale creatures, one being an ogre named Shrek played by Mike Myers, who loathes people and loves being on his own in his swamp. Until a villain by the name of Lord Farquaad, played by John Lithgow, sends a bunch of fairy tale outcasts to his swamp, thus causing Shrek to be outraged and storm into the city of Duloc and demand the creatures leave. Which Farquaad agrees, but in return the ogre and his new annoying pal named Donkey, played by Eddie Murphy, must go on a quest to fetch his true love-to-be, Princess Fiona, played by Cameron Diaz, who was locked away in a tower years ago and is the only way for Farquaad to become king. Now, skipping ahead in the movie where we see the love blossom between Shrek and Fiona, there is one scene I'm mainly going to focus on, and that is where Shrek decides to let Fiona go, even after the two have fallen in love. I think this scene is genius because here's the reality. Shrek needed to let her go in order for them to be together in the end. Why, you may ask? Well, let's break this down one step at a time, shall we? Okay, first off, when Shrek and Fiona are talking over a rat feast dinner, Shrek tries to gain the courage to kiss her and ask her something, but flakes out when Donkey gets in the way. But after their awkward encounter, Fiona is revealed to be an ogre unknown to Shrek, and when Shrek returns, he hears a misleading comment that leads to a big fight between the two of them. And here's where I think the genius kicks in. Maybe Shrek needed to let Fiona go with Farquaad, because had he not let her go, and instead told her that he loved her, then the two of them would have had to either hide or run away together, in order to avoid Farquaad, who would have most likely had them captured or killed due to Shrek's failure to finish his part of the agreement. Also had Shrek not gotten into his fight with Donkey after letting her go, Donkey would have never run into Dragon who later would have helped them to get to the wedding and defeat Farquaad, and thus Shrek would not later come to the realization due to Donkey coming to see him after their fight. Thus Shrek would have never been there to see Fiona transform and thus save her from Farquaad killing her due to the fact that she was an ogre, therefore letting the two of them confess their love for one another and ultimately have their happily ever after. And so, in the end, it really makes me wonder if it was actually better for Shrek to let Fiona go, and then redeem himself at the end instead of just confessing his love at first, and ending up putting the two of them in danger. And then I saw her face, I'm a believer.